to pinpoint a couple of weaknesses with Rudolph's game, what would they be? As we went on Saturday, uh, I don't. He don't have many weaknesses. He don't have many weaknesses. Um, we just got to do a really good job of trying to confuse him. You know, give him some different looks and you know, try to try to keep him off guard. When you're looking at some of the the, the pre-snap stuff, is is it key not to move a ton to tip and do most of it in like post-snap movement so he doesn't get a jump on what you guys are trying to do? Yeah, I mean that that's kind of goes with every week. You know, our job in the back end is to try to confuse quarterbacks. You know, we try to give them different looks and be in different things, and you know, we'll try to continue to build on that. And, just do what we do and see if we can hold up. Mm -hmm. With an offense like this that can do so many different things, you know, you try to stack the box, they're going to throw it, bail out, they'll run it. Is, is the most important thing still to stop the run first? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, if we can stop the run and, uh, you know, control the pass, that gives us the best chance to win, you know, try to try to get them off the field. If they're running the ball, you know, they're controlling the clock and, you know, eating up some time. But it also, they're going to make plays. I mean, it's, it's them, it's their offense, number one offense in the nation. It's going to make plays. It's, you know, we got to buckle down in the red zone and hold them. What we've been trying to do all year is force teams to kick field goals, you know, and, and try to win with with points per possession inside the 40 yard line. So, you know, our offense scored touchdowns, our defense hold the whole team to field goals. So, you know, obviously want to go in, try to stop the run and control the pass, and that allows us to, to do some more things in coverage. There have been a handful of times this season you've really managed to get the, a team behind the change on first and second down. And it's those, those third downs at times, third long seem to be almost like an Achilles heel. They're giving up more there than you are in third and short at times. Anything noticeable on tape when you look at that? No, you know what, it's just, it's it's our guys. It's, it's a lot of missed assignments, you know, just, just little things that you don't see on the field watching the game, you know, so you come back and, and see the replay and watch it and correct them. You know, just guys uh, maybe locking too long in zone coverage on receivers when you know they should be getting their eyes back to the quarterback, you know, and just doing a little bit better job of understanding the situation of you know when we're playing man coverage of where the sticks are at, you know, know when we can be aggressive and know when we shouldn't be. So all, all things that we can clean up and we have made corrections. So hopefully we're better at it this week. Last one last one for me. Um has your idea of what defense has changed since you've been in this league? Have your standards changed in terms of points or yardage or uh, you know what? It's it's about winning the game. You know, I think stats stats are just a number sometimes. You know, it don't matter if, you know, if we win by one, if we win by 40, if we give up zero, if we give up 35, at the end of the day, it's, it's about winning, you know, and, and keep building on from that. So, you know, we look at the stats and figure that stuff out at the end of the year, but right now we're, we're focused on winning for the